Hello everybody, this is Rishita grade 9 from Dharma School, Chitpur. Today I am going to explain about geometry. There are many branches in mathematics like algebra, trigonometry, probability, etc. But today we are going to discuss geometry. Geometry is the word derived from Greek where zeo means earth and metro means measure. Measure of earth is called geometry. Father of geometry is Euclid. Father of geometry is Euclid. He is an ancient Greek mathematician who wrote the book called The Elements. In his book, he described about axioms, postulates and theorems. Now let us know some axioms, postulates and theorems. Hmm. Axioms. Axioms are the basic facts which are taken for granted without proof. That means axioms are the universal truths but we cannot prove them. Let us know some examples of axioms. A line has infinitely many points. A line has infinitely many points. Let us assume this is a, this has line. On this line, we can draw infinitely many points. So that we can say that a line has infinitely many points. A hole is a hole is greater than greater than each of its part. A hole is greater than each of its part. This is a this is a triangle, this is a whole part. It is divided into four equal parts. This part is smaller than the whole or we can say that a whole is greater than each of its parts. Things which are double of the Same things, same things are equal to each other. These, these two are the same things. When I make it into double, these two are equal. So that we can say that things which are double of the same thing. Equal to each other. Things which coincide with one another all equal to. One another. Things which coincide with 
one another of equal to one another. Now, I said in this rubber band with this, we can see that these both are equal to each other. These are the details about axioms. Now let us discuss about postulates. The statement, the statement which we can prove. We can prove by theorems or for postulates. Let us see some examples of postulates. There is a there is a unique line that passes. A line segment, a line segment can be extended on either side, either, either side to form a line. Line segment can be extended on either sides to form a line. The shortest distance between two points is called as line segment. This is line segment AB. When we extend a line on either sides of a line segment, it forms a line. We can Describe a circle with any center and radius. We can describe a circle with any center and radius. From a fixed point, from a fixed distance, a collection of points is called a circle. Now we can draw a circle from fixed point and fixed radius. This is the radius of 2 centimeters. We can draw a circle. Right angles. Right angles are equal to each other. All right angles are equal to each other. We all know that this is a square and we know the properties of square also. In square, each angle measures 90 degrees and all angles are right angles. 
by this we can say that all right angles are equal to each other two intersecting lines cannot have same parallel lines Line M or intersecting lines. Let us take a parallel line for L and mark it as X. And now take a parallel line for M and mark it as M. Here we can see that line L and line M has different parallel lines. There is no common parallel line for line L and line M. By this we can say that two intersecting lines. Let us discuss some, let us discuss theorem. A statement that requires a proof. A statement that requires a proof is called theorem. Let us see some examples of theorem. The sum of angles along a point point is 360 degrees. This is a point. The sum of angles around a point is 360. The sum of angles around a point is 360 degrees. The sum of angles around a point is 360 degrees. The sum of integer angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now let us see proof for this. Two angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals to 180 degrees. Angle has 1, not 2 and 3. Now proof. Draw, draw a line L which is parallel to BC. This is a line L parallel to BC. Now mark these angles as 5 and 6. We know that we know that it continues now. Line L is parallel to BC, then AB is transversal. So that angle 5 equals to angle 2 because there are alternative interior angles. Alternative interior angles are equal. Now let us mark this equation as 1. We know that line L is parallel to BC. Then AC is transversal. Is transversal. So that 
angle 6 is equal to angle 3 because there are alternative interior angles. Alternative interior angles are equal. Now let us mark this equation as 2. We know that angle 1 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 equals to 180 degrees because it is a straight angle. Straight angle measures 180 degrees. Now from equation 1 and 2 we can write angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals to 180 degrees. Because angle 5 equals to angle 2. In, in place of angle 5, we can write angle 2. In place of angle 6, we can write angle 3. So we can write angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals to 180 degrees. Hence, it is proved.